What is up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video as you can tell from the title of this video We're not gonna be working on any of my cars today, but we are gonna be working on this beautiful F10 M5 right here. We got Little homie George right here working on his little piece of shit. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Not a piece of shit no more. We got fucking bricks on this puppy now. Yeah, my ass. Still a piece of shit. Yeah, you wanted to fucking buy this thing. If it wasn't for me. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But today we're not going to be working on pieces of shits. Oh, yeah. We're going to be working. Yeah, he is. <laughs> we're going to be working on this thing. So we actually have a lot of parts ready to go onto this car. This isn't my car. It's actually... My cousin's friend's car which he's been wanting to do a lot of stuff to he wants to get a lot of power out of it so that's what we're going to be doing in this video and most of those parts are right here sitting on the table i still have to unbox them but i'm just going to tell you guys what we got we got obviously pure turbos i believe th yeah these are stage one turbos we got some vrsf catless downpipes i forgot what's in this package right here but and then in here i think we have burger motorsports intakes and charge pipes upgraded charge pipes because the ones on these are all plastic and they tend to break but yeah this car is going to be making a lot of power still have to get the tune for the car i think we're going to go with the boot mode 3 tune we'll see how that goes we still have a few days before we get to that but yeah let me go ahead and unbox these parts right here and show you guys what we got All right, guys, I just got everything unboxed right here. So we got the Burger Motorsports intake setup right here with all the couplers and stuff. We also got charge pipes from Burger Motorsports, as I said before. They even have like a little bung area if you want to run like methanol injection or something like that. But yeah, that's all from Burger Motorsports. We got the VRSF Catless downpipes right here with some new flange gaskets. So those are all good to go. And then we got the best pieces to the puzzle right here we got the stage one turbos from pure turbos these are actually garrett turbos as you can tell from right there but yeah all pure turbo does is they just machine out this little hole right here put a little bit bigger impeller on there and that's basically stage one turbos for you but these still make pretty good power on this car i believe they're rated to make like anywhere around 700 wheel horsepower but obviously every car is different with modding and whoever tunes it and stuff like that so we won't know exactly how much the car makes but we can go based off like other people's dynographs on how much it will make but yeah these are all the parts i'm going to be installing before moving forward here's a quick little word from our sponsor what is up you guys i just want to take a quick minute of your time to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is none other than simply carbon fiber if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you guys obviously know who simply carbon fiber is but if you don't know who simply carbon fiber is they make a bunch of awesome carbon fiber products such as this wallet that they sent me out it's a cool little compact carbon fiber wallet as you guys can tell has a cool little money clip in the back to hold all 20 of my dollars and all my maxed out credit cards go in this little area right here but they don't just make wallets they make a bunch of cool stuff such as sunglasses which I rock during summertime. They make like AirPod cases, phone cases, which I actually have on my phone right now as we speak, and a whole lot of awesome products. They are actually having a huge sale going on right now, up to 70% off. So make sure you guys go check out their website. I'll have the link down below. Maybe you'll find something you'll like, and you'll obviously save a lot because of those Black Friday savings. But yeah, that deal won't be going on for too long. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. So as always, huge shout out to Simply Carbon Fiber for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me go ahead and give a quick cinematic of all these parts in the car, and then we'll get down to business. Alright guys, so I got most of the stuff already removed. 
We got all the parts right here. Got this brace off, both the intake boxes off. These little charge pipes right here. And I also went ahead and took off the charge coolers. Because I removed those charge coolers, all the coolant went everywhere. So I created a little bit of a mess on my hands. But right now, what I'm going to go ahead and work on is getting these down pipes loosened up and probably off first. And then I'll work on getting these oil and coolant lines off of the turbos itself. And then we'll get the turbos off at the end. So let me go ahead and get that all done real quick. Right, guys i finally got both of the turbos out and the down pipes out as well honestly this really isn't that hard of a job to do i feel like doing turbos on like my f80 or how we did it on greg's f80 is way harder than doing it on this only because everything is on top and the down pipes are way easier to get off but yeah here are the big old bulky down pipes right here those were a little bit of a hassle to get off only because of those big old cats right there but yeah these are the old turbos. I still have to transfer the wastegates and the oil drain lines off the turbos onto the new ones. I'm gonna call it a night and I'll go ahead and start working on this again tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, it is the next day and I'm gonna get straight to work. So I got the turbos right here. Before I can go ahead and install the new turbos, I have to transfer like this oil drain lines and also these wastegates onto the new turbo. So that's the new one, that's the old one. I also went ahead and picked up some new gaskets for the drain lines and the turbo flanges itself. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these oil drain lines and these waste gates on, and then start throwing the turbos back into the car. Alright guys, so I finally went ahead and finished up the entire engine bay. Everything is all back together. I also went ahead and threw the new uh, Burger Motorsports intakes on. Those are looking really, really good now. Oh, yeah, and I also threw in these charge pipes. Those were kind of annoying to get it. And at first I had them like backwards, but yeah. Now it's good to go. And I already went ahead and primed the turbo. So oil is already fed into the turbos. So that's all good to go now. Now I'm gonna hand the camera off to Georgie boy right here and he's gonna get a cold start for us. So let's see how this thing sounds. Sounds like she's ready to rip. And honestly, with just down pipes, it sounds pretty loud already obviously it quieted down because the cold start went away but so far so good
sounds really good. Give it a couple rubs. Not too high in the RPMs. Three, four? Yeah, I want to hear it. That shit sounds good. All right guys, that's where I'm gonna end this video. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next video to see us ripping this thing and driving it down the road. Either way, we have to go get gas and we still have to tune the car. It's still not even tuned. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video on that. Sorry to leave you guys on like a cliffhanger, but that video will be out in a couple days. What do you think of it so far, George? So far, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's we just sick, need right? that tune going. It's amazing. It took me like three days to finish the car but honestly I could have finished it in probably a day if I really wanted to but there's there was no point in that I took my time and did it right but yeah it came out really good make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be tuning it and hopefully doing some flybys George is gonna help me record that but without further ado hit that like button hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one peace